But since Brofola lost his brother, he's been absent from church. It's been three months now. That's true. I actually noticed. We've not even seen him. If he's okay, we don't know. I think you should call him to check up on him. But sister Temi, why must I be the one to call him all the time? Well, God just did the last time. He can use you again, sadness. Yes, I know. He came back to church the last time. But it was not because I called him. It was because God convinced him. Mm. I'm not asking you to check up on him. God is saying you should check up on his son. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll call him. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> God, give me a chance. Oh. Eh? Give me a chance. No. I knew you would call me. In fact, I thought you would have called earlier. <laughs> yeah. You didn't see me in church again, Abby. So you called. I'm just one old member. <laughs> Don't have important. It's not news, I'll suggest. Bro, Fola, how are you doing? Eh? I thought you might still be grieving. That's. that's oddly sensitive of you. So, are you. Are, are, you, are you not going to throw scripture at me and expect me to be magically better? I think you are still grieving. I guess one never really stopped. Grieving for loved ones, Abby. Are you are you trying to portray yourself as a shoulder to lean on? <laughs> I know church people and being sensitive is almost impossible. Take for example your pastor. That man is a very very wicked man. You know I. Brofola, what is going on? I really would love to see you in the church environments where you can be heavy looked to the love of God and find healing. I'm fine, I'm fine. But I don't need God. I'm sorry, I... That, that was a strong statement. I understand you lost your brother, but... You don't understand. Was he your brother? Every, <laughs> everyone pretends to just understand my pain. Ah! It was... It, it was the most God-loving, prayerful, dedicated word. Yet God let him die in a ghastly aspect. If all we have heard about God is true, that is loving, he hates evil, he, he would have stopped it. Mm. That, that is an angle I'm not willing to explore. Because it can only lead to blasphemy. Or you are afraid that if you really think about it, use that brain of yours, you will realize that this God thing. It's a scam. But your brother died loving him. And he was one of the most brilliant people I know. You know, death among other people in the world makes us question God because of how we feel about them. But do you know that this is one of man's greatest weakness? Trusting their emotion and letting it lead them in the place of God. Listen, if in all our diversities, as vast as the world is, we all feel different ways about something and then we now make our emotions the law that guides the world then everyone except one is a liar our emotions often lie to us because it reacts to what is in the physical and man is tripartite he has body spirit and soul hence if he wants to live a full life he must consult the spiritual as well as the physical you you cannot brainwash me because i will I will never say God is dead. Because I must have believed he was alive. All this terrible evil happening in the world. And the prayers offered daily. And yet, this keep getting worse. My brother died a fool. Yeah, he did. He did. What? 
nobody say. Isn't this true? Jesus died like that too. Many Pharisees and Sadducees would call it a false death. But it was the most powerful and most beautiful thing that could ever happen. Death brings a mix of emotion. But when people like you are lucky to have people who slept in Christ, you realize that they have just crossed over to the better side. Death didn't take them. They have just grabbed a hold very literally on eternal life. This should actually add fuel to your car in this race, make you focused and decide to run this race faithfully with your brother Ram. Well, 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 thank you for invalidating my emotions. I've purely been led by what I feel is okay. And what I feel is a lie, right? To think that I was even calling you sensitive in the beginning. No, no, I, I apologize if I made you feel that way. Your feelings are not invalid though. But it doesn't make them right in guiding your decisions. I'm just pointing out that you are a, you are a spirit with a soul housed in a body of flesh. Where is your joint decision between your body, spirit and soul? Because whatsoever you decide affects it all. Your emotions are a gift from God. Let it glorify God. Lead your emotions to God. Don't let it lead you. Death was a friend in the case of your brother. Jesus made sure of that when he shed his blood. Don't forget that all these things will pass. <laughs> in the world, you have tribulations. Go be of good share. I have overcome the world. My brother did it now. No. Christian, Jesus said to the daughters of Jerusalem, Weep not for me, but weep for yourself and for your children. That is a good thing for that person who slept in the Lord. But for you, it's an opportunity to be more grounded in God till his coming. Loving the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might, that you may also say, O death, where is thy sting, O grave? Where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus today.